Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. Today we're going to talk about gram positive versus gram negative bacteria. If you haven't watched my video on gram staining, watch that video first and you'll have an amazing understanding of today's video. But before starting the lecture, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcomed in the comment section. Have a cup of tea and let's get started. But before talking about gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria in detail, we should know that what are bacteria. Singular is bacterium and the plural is bacteria. Bacteria are also called microbes. What are microbes? Microbes are the tiny organisms that are visible only under the microscopes. Micro is for small. If you want to know more about them, I've got a video just in the top right corner or maybe in the description. Watch that one. Bacteria are prokaryotic cells because they are unicellular. Bacteria play important role in disease and health. There's a question mark for health. Okay, because bacteria are an important part of human microbiota, microbiome, or we can also call it normal flora. Lecture outline. We have talked about bacteria. Now we're going to look at gram-positive first, then gram-negative, and we'll have their diagrammatic study. And at the end, as usual, we'll recap it. Gram-positive. It has a thick peptidoglycan layer in its cell wall. Its cell wall is smooth and straight. There are no curves in its cell wall. It is lipid poor and thick walled bacteria. It has got single membrane. There are some titoic acids that are present in the gram bacteria. The gram positive bacteria retain the dye of gram staining. And with that stain, this bacteria stain purple. You might be now thinking, what is gram staining? So I do have a video about that in my channel. Find that. Gram-positive bacteria are very susceptible to antibiotics, especially penicillin G. In the picture on the right side, you can see the gram-stained positive bacteria. They are purple. There are some pink ones as well. We'll talk about them. Gram-negative bacteria. They've got thin peptidoglycan layer in their cell walls. The cell wall of gram-negative bacteria is wavy, which means that it has got curves in it. It's not smooth or straight, just like the gram-positive bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria is lipid-rich, thin-walled bacteria. It has got double membrane, which means that it has two membranes in it, one outer and one the inner cytoplasmic membrane. It has no titoic acids present. And this bacteria do not retain the dye of gram staining, which means that the gram-negative bacteria stain with a counter stain, safranine, either pink or red. As in this picture, you can see it's pink. As I talked about this picture, the pink ones are the gram-negative bacteria. This bacteria is very resistant to antibiotics. Okay, now let's look at both the bacteria. We've got gram-negative on the right side and gram-positive on the left side. Look at the cell wall of both bacteria. Gram-positive has got this straight, smooth cell wall, while the gram-negative bacteria has got this wavy cell wall there. Gram-positive has got this thick peptidoglycan layer as compared to gram-negative bacteria, which has this thin one. Gram-positive bacteria has single membrane, this one, while gram-negative has got two. One is this, and the other one is this outer membrane, and both have got their periplasmic space and cytoplasm. Okay, now let's look at this diagram. This is a thick peptidoglycan layer of the gram positive. This is a thin peptidoglycan layer of the gram negative. These are their cell walls. Gram positive has got this single plasma membrane, where gram negative has got two membranes. This is its plasma membrane, number one, and this is its outer membrane, number two. All right, as a quick recap, peptidoglycan layer in the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria is thicker as compared to gram-negative bacteria, which has got the thin layer. Lipid in the cell wall of gram-positive bacteria is little, or we can call that gram-positive bacteria is lipid poor, and gram-negative bacteria is lipid rich bacteria. The shape of cell wall, the gram positive has got stray or smooth cell wall, while gram negative has got the wavy one, if you remember from the diagram I showed you. Titoic acids in the peptidoglycan layer of the gram positive are present, while the gram negative bacteria has got no titoic acids in its peptidoglycan layer. The gram positive bacteria stains with the gram stain, 
pop up, while the gram-negative bacteria do not stain with it. Instead, gram-negative stain with the counter stain, saffron in either pink or red. I've showed you the pink one in the picture. The lipopolysaccharides, also called endotoxins, are absent in gram-positive, while they are present in gram-negative bacteria. Gram-positive has got one membrane, while gram-negative has got two of them. Gram-positive bacteria are very susceptible to antibiotics, while gram-negative bacteria are very resistant to antibiotics. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you really did, give this video a big, big thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, comment down below in the comment section. You can also connect with me on my socials. I've got my Instagram, I've got my Twitter, and I really upload blogs. So do check them out. Till next time, Assalamualaikum.